the 2023 Cape Epic is upon us and riders cannot wait to get onto their bicycles across the winelands in the Western Cape. Remufuilo Mwekezi and Manti Manganya are some of the women that will be participating in the event that commences on Sunday. And now they join me live in studio. Thank you ladies for making time. It's going to be an exciting weekend, an exciting Sunday for you. Rimifule, you've uh, participated in the Cape Epic uh, twice before. This will be your third. Manti, you are debuting, which I find absolutely interesting. What most are you looking forward to in terms of the Cape Epic this weekend? Um, I just need to correct that. So I'm doing the Cape Epic Trippers, which is just an introduction to the whole Cape Epic. So I will be doing the full Cape Epic next year in 2024. All right. Yes. Okay, so just in terms of the trippers, what exactly then are you going to be looking forward to the most? Uh, just experiencing the new trails and challenging myself, doing stuff that I haven't done before. Okay. Yes. And I think, Rebufilwe, as, as you are about to do this for the third time, what we are finding, especially with the women's race, is that it is much more open than what we see in the men's. You know, this one has been dubbed as one of the most exciting that we are going into. How exactly then are you preparing? Um, so it's been, it's been an intense um, six months of training. Uh, I think last, last year I came back from Swiss Epic, only took a month off and then it was back again um, prepping for, um, for this one. And um, I think because the routes are so different every year, the challenge is always different. So you can never say, um, I've done it before, I can relax a bit. Um, so it just becomes unpredictable um, all the time. Absolutely, because it is so mentally grueling as well. You know, uh, you mentioned the fact of being, a, you know, invited to Switzerland, being able to take part uh, in, in Swiss. Tell us about how that also then prepares you for, for, for such a race. I think once you finish the first one, um, you come out a different person. You realize that you can conquer. Um, so I think from the second one I did for the Swiss Epic that I did, it was even when the going got tough, um, knowing that I can pull through as difficult as, um, as it's going to be and as, as, as dirty and rough and tough as it gets. You have also uh, been invited uh, to, to quite a few. Let's, let's chat about those. Uh, about the, 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 the few yeah, races that I've done. So yes. I've done uh, the Wines to Wales, uh, I've done Atakwas, I've done uh, Tankwa Trek. So yes, the, the, they're really tough, as she has said, they're really taxing on the body. It's, it's really tough. Sometimes some of those trails, the way they're so difficult, you just see your life flashing through. <laughs> but you know, you, you still go back uh, for the adrenaline rush and just to motivate yourself that I can actually do this. So it, it really isn't just about, you know, crossing the finish line. It's about stretching yourself, you know, seeing what the body ca can get to. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you just keep on pushing yourself. And when, when it gets tough, it's, you, just, you just have to keep on moving, keep on pedaling and move and get to the finish line no matter what. And, and which is why then it also makes it so important to be racing as a team. Because mm -hmm. if you are going to do this uh, individually, you know, and just focus on you, the, the going does get tough. Mm, it does. And I think the, the, the team aspect also um, allows you to be able to support and encourage each other um, because you, you, you end up in, in some dark places. Um, sometimes both of you will be in that state, but I think if you've got a common, common purpose of why you are doing it to begin with, um, that is what will get you through to the finish. I, I, I want to unpack that. You know, when you speak about those dark places, paint a picture for us. You know, mm -hmm. what do they look like? And then how do you then overcome that? You'll get to instances where um, you are climbing up a mountain. The terrain is tough. Um, you have fallen countless times. The clock is ticking. You're close to the cutoff. You see people pass you, you are bleeding. <laughs> and you start questioning why you are doing this to begin with. And you start questioning whether you are capable of it to begin, um, to begin with and whether you're going to get to the finish line. Um, you know, what um, things like wanting, thinking that you're going to disappoint your partner. Um, you're going to disappoint the people that are supporting you. Um, yeah, a lot, of, a lot of things go through um, through the mind, but um, like Manti said, in those moments, you just have to keep um, to keep moving. There are instances where tears will be rolling down mm -hmm. down your face, and you're pushing your bike up.
<laughs> but you just keep moving. <laughs> and, I, and I'm guessing, Monty, even with uh, the preparations for the uh, Cape Epic, the trippers, you know, it, it is maybe so difficult to find terrains that mimic exactly the mm. route that you are going to be on. So how do you then circumvent that? You know, how do you find those places that will kind of give you the challenge that you will find on Sunday? Um, like Rimufila said, the route is different every year. So even if they announce the route, you do, th these are routes on private properties. So you can't really mimic, but you can only try. Uh, there's a uh, lot of trails available in Joburg that you can try and mimic the kind of trails that you're going to experience. Or sometimes it would require you to actually go to the Cape and try and experience the the kind of trails that you'll experience there and also the climate so i mean it's just not the trails it gets really hot and your body needs to acclimatize to that and you need that kind of training they call it heat training mm. you need that <laughs> so that your body gets used to that kind of heat so you can survive and keep on moving sure that's why it's so it's so grueling. So after this, then you are going to form part of the Amapuwesi Club. That's Let's talk correct. about the significance of that, what exactly it means, especially for your career trajectory. Mm. I mean, I think if, if anybody had told me when um, we got into COVID that I would be lining up for my third epic um, in 2023, I would have told them they're crazy. <laughs> um, it's a special, I think, milestone um, for me. Um, because I think it, my intention is to, to inspire um, women to get on their, blacks, on their bikes, to inspire black women. I think there aren't, there aren't many of us um, that, are, that are doing the sports. I think for the first time in the history of EPIC, for females, we are in the third digits. We are over 100 in the history of the race. For the first time in the history of the race, we've got more than 10 black ladies that are participating. Um, so I think the numbers might seem insignificant, but it's, it's massive. Um, strides, you know, that, that, um, that organizations like Cape Epic and um, the sponsors have enabled um, for the journey. So um, for me to achieve my third one, I know it's because of the intentional opportunities that have been created for us, for us to get there. I love that. And then just a quick one in terms of the Matsumela Clinic Initiative as we wrap things up. Uh, so Matsumela, it's a, it's a ladies clinic. And the intention is to really get women on the bike, give them confidence, the right confidence that they need. And yeah, to support them just so, you know, you know, to tell them that they can also do it and just open up that big world for all African ladies. Ooh, I love that. Ribufilwe, Manti, all the best for the Sunday. All eyes will be on the Cape Epic that is, of course, taking place this weekend.